Welcome to Lexio Divina Reflections, Wednesday of Holy Week, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priest and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. Today's Gospel, as told by Matthew, relates the story of the betrayal of Jesus by Judas Iscariot. As the twelve sit at the table with Jesus during the Feast of the Unleavened Bread, Jesus tells them to go into the city to a certain man, in whose house they celebrated the Passover. Jesus says to them while they were eating, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. They then begin to question which one of them is the betrayer. He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me, Jesus says, warning them of the mortal consequences of betrayal. Then Judas says to Jesus, Surely it is not I, Rabbi, and he answers, You have said so. Judas is fully aware that he is betraying Jesus. In his conscience, he knows he is lying. In what ways do I betray Jesus, fully aware that I am being deceitful? Lord, I am closer to Judas and betrayal than I am to Jesus and discipleship. Often I fail to do what I know is right and do the wrong thing instead. Judas hanged himself for the unbearable remorse he felt in his betrayal that seemed to him greater than your mercy. In his threefold denial of Jesus, Peter would find in Jesus the relationship restored with his threefold question, Simon, son of John, do you love me? The chief priest put a price on the head of Jesus, and Judas succumbed to betrayal for it. Time after time, when I betray you, Lord, you restore me through your unfathomable mercy and the sacrament of reconciliation. Your son paid the price for that at a cost I will never fully comprehend. Merciful God, restore me with your loving presence. Grant me the wisdom to know the limited value of the things of this world and the grace of trusting in your limitless mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.